Hi, welcome back to Game Hydro. Today we're talking about uh, Nightfall Kingdom Tower Defense. Nightfall Frontier Kingdom Tower Defense, rather. We're going to go over some tips, tricks, hints, and strategies, and cheats. So let's go over all the various menu items first, because there's a lot to take in, especially if you're new at the game. But even if you're a veteran at the game, collecting these rewards uh, can make your quest a whole lot easier. So, uh, first of all, is to look for the red dots next to the icons. They mean that you have something to collect. So, these daily quests, you can uh, claim <clears throat> Battle Pass Progress, which is your rewards in the Battle Pass, whether so you're free or paid. Like all... You got scrolls that can upgrade your mounts, your heroes, your artifacts, and your weapons. That is definitely good to have, as well as gold, which is the basic currency in the game. Let's see. Battle pass stuff is claimed automatically. There's achievements, which uh, give you lots of free gems, which are the premium currency of the game. The main way to get these, of course, purchase them. But there's a lot of free gems that can get you rare stuff, even if you uh, even if you don't pay to play. Uh, you can claim achievements like this by killing a certain amount of warriors, upgrading equipment, heroes, etc. Five hundred and forty is a pretty nice number. More than that. Take a look at that. Battle Pass, of course, we got some upgrades here. I'm not purchasing the premium one, which is twenty dollars, but the free one is nice too. Gems, or you got uh, chest keys, and you got over here. You got your daily collections. You can collect one time for free, two times by watching the advertiser videos. Here, you can collect one time for free, two times by watching the advertiser videos. Now, if you choose to watch the videos or not, that's up to you, but sometimes the advertisement videos can be worth your while. Uh, over here at the Growth Fund, you have rewards and buy when you can purchase. And once you unlock hard and nightmare stages, you have even more rewards and new worlds, which you can do by progressing through the game uh, over in your research area. This is where you can research things like new troops, uh, boosting your troops' attack and health. We're going to boost this a couple times. That's at max level, so now we got some new stuff. Boost their attack by five. Boost their health by five. Unlock uh, archery range, so you can unlock archers in battle. Now, there's a whole bunch of other troops you can unlock later in battle, too. Uh, ballistas. Uh, Builders Guild, which randomly upgrades houses. Exploding windmills, which will damage nearby monsters. Crossbows, which uh, have longer range and more power. Hot oil. Commander, castle commander. Scarecrow, which attacks flying monsters. And a whole lot more. We won't go into all of those right now, but be sure to keep unlocking your troops in the shop area. Not only do you have free deals, which can be unlocked by uh, watching advertisement videos, of course, free chests. Uh, I've got a key, so I'm going to try opening a chest with that. So you get common equipment there, but over in the premium equipment chest, you get rarer equipment. I've got 2,900 gems, so let's open 10 of them. Let's get a piece of epic equipment. Uh, I've got the Elven King which is a epic type of game. Let's equip that in just a second. Uh, over to the equipment. My Elven King increases attack by 12. That's pretty nice. And then you can upgrade each item too. Uh, that increases attack a little bit. Gale Force Longbow, let's upgrade that. Uh, let's set it now. More. Horn of Valor, help. And your steed, which is Mountain Bay one, also does health. And if you want to unlock more free stuff right away, 
Uh, you get one, uh, you get a refresh. Here it says nine hours forty one minutes. Try setting the time ahead on your phone or tablet, whatever you play. Set it ahead by enough time to reset the cool down counter. Come back, see what happens. I personally haven't tried it yet, but I intend to shortly. But we're keeping this video a little short. Let's get into battle. Let's go over some stuff. So first, I don't know what this wizard's doing there. First, you gotta unlock the castle in order to unlock other buildings. I like knights. Let's unlock those first. Okay. So chapter three, desert stage. Uh, even though you have a lot of towers and knights that can do damage, ride out to try to confront them first. Because not only do you have a lot of attack power, but you can also... All right, let's build a house so we get more silver. Not only do you have a lot of attack power, but you can also ride away faster than they can move. And when you are out of reach, you can regenerate. So even if you're getting shot by archers here, uh, you can regenerate. And of course, use your arrow storm attack later on uh, when things start to get a little more dicey. I want some archers. Let's see how they do. Wave three. This is coming along pretty quickly. I like it. Oh, they're coming from elsewhere now. Who's this? Rally button. Draw my guys over to me and use the arrow storm attack to end this round. Now I've got... Five coins. If I have seven coins, I'll be able to upgrade the castle. Let's do some houses. I want some more coins. Now, if enemies are allowed to get too far, they are sometimes able to destroy houses and things like that. But they, uh, those houses regenerate after the night is over. Fight. Now you can make in-app purchases that allow you to speed up battle by double or triple the game speed. So unfortunately, that is not offered right out of the gate. I wish it was. I mean, these battles a bit, but I guess they know how to keep people interested. I don't even have a tower yet. Let's build a tower. Let's build another tower. And fight. So the more towers you build, the more defenses you have. Flying enemies like these, the fast flying enemies, are absolutely terrible because they will straight up target your buildings. This one's just straight up targeting the castle. Luckily, not doing a whole lot of damage there. What can we upgrade next? I got enough for the castle upgrade. Let's do it. Increase 50% hit points and attacks. This is all the Let's try it. Haven't used that before, but that could always be good. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be blocking them from this side. We're going to go over here, launch out uh, an arrow storm attack, take some hits in the process. Now that my arrow storm is done, back off a little bit, restore it, so I'm going to come back in. Now, this rare piece of equipment. Okay, for weapons, you can either choose melee equipment or you can choose long-range equipment. I like the long-range equipment because I like to shoot at melee troops. However, uh, if you use melee weapons, you can hit more than one enemy at once. So they both have their uh, positive effect. There's another wall. And I got two coins. Can I build another house? Yes. There's another house. Actually, there's an upgrade to a house, and we'll choose the fight button. Oh, they're coming from the middle, actually. Come over here, arrow storm the big guys, the ogres. They take a lot of damage. They're the tanks of the enemy group, so if you target them first, then to enable their archers and knights to take more damage. There is a 
Quick work has been made out. Let's build another wall. Let's walk the whole thing off. And here's a tower that I can build. I can build one more house. Upgrade one more house because of course we want more coins. Oh, they're coming from two areas now. Can I shoot over plants? Yes, I can. Because that side, and next, they'll be coming from the other side. Arrow store because there's a lot of guys over here. Try to sneak attack, not so fast. My exploding arrows, they sometimes explode, are going to make quick work of these fools. We're already going to be on the second to last wave here. That was a much longer wave than I'm used to, though. Alright, now we're between fights. Let's upgrade the archery range and double the amount of archers we get. Uh, let's upgrade the knights. Let's double. Oh, I don't have enough silver. Low by one. Oh well. How about another archery range? Looks like they're going to be coming from either side yet again. I don't know which side's coming first, so I'll just go up here and attack whoever comes out. Luckily, we got plenty of long holes to keep the flying dudes and increase the arrow storm. Pause real quick, take care of some business. Alright, we're back. So in the pause menu, you can see your cards. You can see your stats overall. You got some settings you can choose from. You if you want, but I don't see a point in quitting. I'm just going to continue. Flying dudes coming over. Obviously, you want to use your arrow storm as many times as possible because that's pretty fun. Now, you can't really hit and run against archers because their arrows will follow you if you move. But you can definitely hit and run against enemy knights and other enemy melee troops, just like this. You got archers over here dealing lots of damage. Let's do a quick job finishing them off. And for this final wave, they're going to come out of every single uh, area possible. My hunch was right, though. They're coming out of the middle first. Just like some ogres here. Plenty of fodder for my arrow storm. Like I said, use the arrow storm as often as possible. Groups, because later on in the game you're going to be in chapters that require you to deal more damage and require you to take a more active role because your troops are zombies. Oh, look at this. A storm of enemies coming from all three areas at once. We're going to uh, try to weaken the center storm as much as possible. And middle enemies are dealt with. Let's move over to the side. All that's left is this side now. So eh, sometimes you're going to have to try and focus on one side as much as possible. You're going to take a lot of damage when you're fighting archers like this, but that's when you back off. And 
and recover a bit, then go back out there and drop another arrow storm. But we made quick work of that battle. We got a lot of scrolls. We can go upgrade uh, this star on Lost Research. Upgrade an artifact. Upgrade a weapon. Upgrade your mount. Upgrade your heroes. And, of course, coins and gems. So that has been a uh, nice little quick tips, tricks, cheats, and strategies guide for Nightfall Frontier Kingdom Tower Defense. This is Game Hydro. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.